when my father went up into St. Andrews in 1939 as an undergraduate, and for one year before serving in the war, experienced lectures under Darcy Thompson. So my father was cheated of his undergraduate education, really, by the war. But he was delighted when I went up in 1969, 30 years later, to study zoology, later turning to botany. And uh, from there on, Darcy Thompson has featured in my life. So that set me off on a, a life's work of studying historical and contemporary relations between the arts and sciences. And in that field, of course, Darcy is a star. He managed to integrate them. He was not just the polymathic individual, but he brought his arts, the humanities, to bear on his science and the science on his understanding of the humanities. He was a holist in growth and form, Darcy amongst many structures, looks at the fourth bridge with this great cantilevered structure and compares it with skeletal forms of lost species. His analysis of forms in terms of physical and mathematical structure is prodigious. And that's really what stimulates anybody interested in form and structure, but also in the process of change. In the natural world for, for Darcy, that was growth. And he would stretch the figures of an animal on an eraser, one way and other, again showing this way that form, the form of, of natural objects could be transformed. Darcy was, is, and will always remain a huge stimulus. Every university needs its great individuals, its great scientists, its great humanists, its great artists, its great philosophers. But I believe that every university also needs its great polymaths, its great artisan individuals. And in the case of St. Andrews, in Darcy Thompson they had, and in his legacy they have, one of the greatest.